Hello everybody, today I thought I would try taking the Japanese, Chinese, or Korean identification test. I thought that you guys could play along with me, so keep track on your fingers. And in the comments below, at the end of the quiz, let me know how well you did. First off, I personally am Chinese and Japanese. I'm originally from Hawaii, and it is very, very hard for me to identify because everybody in Hawaii is mixed. I thought I would try a new one that I've never done before. This one is from the Japan guy. I will put a link to the quiz in the description below. Guess me, how do you think I'll do? Not good. Question one. Is this woman Japanese, Chinese, or Korean? Okay, so I know for a fact that she is not Japanese. She does not look like any of my relatives. I don't think she really looks Korean too, so I'm gonna say Chinese. Wrong! <laughs> It was Japanese! Maybe it was her hair. Her hair looks Japanese. I don't know. This is already getting off to like a really bad start. Question number two! Okay, for, so for sure, not Japanese again. <laughs> I don't... Uh, is she Korean? She has like wavy hair. And so that's my only thing that I would say not Chinese. So I'm gonna say Korean. Correct! I got it correct! Okay, one point. We're on the board, Gatsby. <laughs> Question number three! He is definitely not Chinese. That's, um, I'm pretty sure the way that the hair is, it's Japanese. My friend's like, try to imagine, like, them speaking to you. If I think that if you spoke to me, you would speak in Japanese, so I'm gonna say Japanese. It was Korean! He would, uh, I guess he would, he looks like he would be on like a Korean soap opera. What? Question four. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I say Japanese. I just have a feeling he's Japanese. The hair makes me feel like it's Japanese. Correct. Number five. It's between Korean or Chinese. I'm gonna guess Chinese. She doesn't look Japanese at all. Um, and I think like the clothing doesn't look Japanese. I feel like the way that she looks, it's very Chinese. I'm gonna say Chinese. We did it, Gatsby, we did it! Number six. This one looks like Asian mama. I don't think she's Chinese. I think Japanese or Korean. The hair looks Japanese. I'm gonna say Japanese, because that was the first thought that came in my mind. No! Korean. Korean. What's the matter with you? Number seven. He's not Korean. He looks like my friends that are Japanese. I'm gonna go with Japanese. Correct. Okay, good. He looked like a few of my classmates. Number eight! Okay, this guy also looks like a few of my classmates. His nose is throwing me off. Uh, it's not Korean. I know that much. It's Chinese or Japanese again. I think the hair looks Japanese, so I'm gonna say Japanese. It was Chinese? Oh my gosh, I'm not doing very well at all. <laughs> Number nine? It's not Korean. This is Chinese. I'm pretty sure this is Chinese, right? She doesn't look Japanese either, so I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, Chinese. Correct. Okay, good. Okay, the final one. He's wearing a hat, so it's hard to tell. Um, he doesn't look Korean. I'm gonna say he's either Chinese or Japanese. My guess is gonna be Chinese. He was Japanese. Oh, oh my gosh, how, did, how well did I do now? I got five out of 10. Oh no. <laughs> That's a failure! Oh my gosh. In the comments below, let me know how well you did. Once again, I want to thank the Japan guy. He has a YouTube channel as well as his website, which I'm putting in the description below. I got, I don't know, Gatsby. We kind of, we failed at that one, huh? This was a failure. Hello. You look so comfortable. Morning stretch time. Stretch! Look at that leg stretch. Stretch! 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 <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> he looks so tired. Okay, just made it back home from the gym. I hit legs today. I didn't film it, but that's when it's a good time to have a really good bulking meal. I went and picked up ingredients for a quiche. I love quiche. So let's start by preheating the oven at 350 degrees. We have our pie crust. Ta-da! You kind of want this to get to room temperature. So we'll just leave it here. We got cheese, some bacon, chopped ham. We're gonna cook the bacon first, just because um, it'll also grease the pan. I'm just doing a very <laughs> big dice. This is gonna continue cooking, but we're gonna add the onions to one side. This is fully cooked, so I'm just gonna add it in the end just to brown it a little bit. I love quiche because I love pie crust. Okay, here we go. The onions are getting a little bit clear, so now we're gonna add the ham. Top up some spinach, too. You can see the bacon is getting brown and crispy. That's what we want. So we got it. I think that's pretty much done. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put a little bit. We're done. Yeah, we'll set this aside. We are being fancy and we got pasture-raised eggs. Okay. And we're also gonna add half a cup of half and half. Half. It's important to use a whisk and not just like a fork. Well, you can, but you'll have to whisk a lot more to incorporate more air. I'm gonna put some salt, pepper, parsley flakes. And we're gonna do like the whole thing of cheese. I hope the pie crust defrosted by now. We're just gonna unroll this. Get out all the air bubbles from underneath. There we go. Cheese. Egg mixture. Put more cheese on top. Ta-da! It is ready to go in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm now going to take a shower while we wait. Okay, it has been um, around 50 minutes now. Let's check it out. Yeah, it looks brown. Okay, good. We gotta give it like five minutes for it to cool down. And that's the quiche. It looks really good. Okay, let's cut it open. I'm gonna eat a big slice. Ta-da! Here's the quiche with all the layers of goodies inside. Oh, look at that. So cheesy. Ham and cheese and bacon quiche. Very good. What a great brunch. I'm gonna eat, of course, more than one slice because I had leg day. I'm gonna finish this and let's get on with the day. Oh. Like, oh, hello, I'm here too. So I wanted to thank everyone so much for all of their birthday wishes. I had this really great sushi dinner. We went and spent like 160 bucks on sushi and we ate the whole thing. Oh, that was so good. And then I had a birthday game night on another day with all of my vaccinated friends. That was super fun. And um, one of my other friends sent me a really cool treat. So today's my birthday and my high school friend Kara and her husband Nick sent me something. If you guys are from New York or the East Coast, you guys know what this is. These are like Famous, famous cookies. I've been following their um, Instagram page. I've never tried their cookies before, so I'm so excited to try it out. I noticed that they do mail orders, but I was like, with shipping, it comes up to about like $20 a cookie, which, of course, I'm gonna follow the instructions on reheating the cookie. Oh, chocolate chip cookie. That looks good. My cookie dreams are about to come true. It looks very mushy in the center. I'm just kidding. It's so good. The inside of the cookie is still cookie dough, but the outside is so crispy and crumbly. I was expecting the cookie to be like a cakey cookie to taste like kind of like cake. It's more like cookie dough. In terms of like how heavy it is, it's kind of like a scone. I feel like I ate like a stick of butter. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to thank everyone once again for all of your birthday wishes. Um, I did take a week off of vlogging, but we are back. Okay, I got Gatsby something. Gatsby's like, what? Bark bright. I don't, yeah. Gatsby saw the ads for it and he was like, I want to try it out. Maybe I should have gotten the large ones. Gatsby's like, oh, that's for me, right? Yeah, you smell? You smell? And then you buy like the toothpaste. 
part two. So I just added some toothpaste to the inside here. This is kind of small for him. We should have gotten the larger size. Not so pretty. Okay, again, so pretty. Good boy. There he goes, chewing on the stick. Oh, that's exactly how I'm supposed to do it. I got toothpaste all over my carpet. Ooh. Now we gotta clean the carpet. Because Gatsby's not doing a very good job. It's still right there. Okay, I thought I would give you guys a quick aquarium update because I haven't shown it in a while and everything has been doing pretty well. The water looks crystal clean. I think it's because I've been using this Vibrant for saltwater aquariums. It's time to feed the fish. We got a new bottle of ROE. There they go. The fish is like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, must eat food. The good news is my sunset Monte coral. See the green stuff here? It's coming back alive. All of this is dead here. There's little splotches, so it's coming back. So down here, this is where the, um, the evaporated water, because this tank evaporates about a gallon of water a day. So it tops it off with fresh water over here. I use a tons controller for that. It pumps water back into the aquarium. So I have to change this out. The problem is that the pump actually finally died. So I had to buy a new one. This is the first time I've had to switch out the pump and I've had this aquarium for like seven years or so. That's actually a really good lifespan because a lot of my friends say that the pump dies in like a year. That is pretty much it. Oh, and I'm playing around with the living room setup again. After I had all my friends over for my birthday party, I thought I would just try something different. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank everyone so much also for buying some merchandise for my birthday. <laughs> we have our Japanese Gatsby Sun shirts, of course, tie-dye t-shirts. Oh, and check out the calendar. I forgot, it's August. Ta-da! Make sure to check out the sale that's going on at corgionfleek.com. Right now, we are doing a back-to-school sale, which is ending very soon. Other than that, though, I thought I would share with you guys some news on <laughs> the latest merchandise. Now I'm looking at it coming out around mid-August, so that's actually pretty soon. I'm going to be restocking the bucket hats, and I have a new color bucket hat coming out. It is a tie-dye bucket hat. It's still reversible. So it still has the, um, it still has this side over here, which looks really cool. But it now has the super cool tie-dye pattern. A new t-shirt design, which I'm excited to show you guys. And something that I've been having requests for, I'm finally gonna do it. Should I say it? Should I say it? I mean, okay, I might as well just say it. It's like a very special dog bandana. Ta-da! Ooh, tie-dye bandana. We have this color and we have this color right over here. I have been working on these tie-dye bandanas since the springtime. So tie-dye dog bandanas are just like so hard to do. Oh my gosh, it was, I was like after a while of doing research, I spent like a month doing research and I was like, wait, Maybe there's a reason why there are no tie-dye dog bandanas. I do think tie-dye looks really good on dogs. I'm really hoping they turn out really good, just like the pictures from the factory. So those are the things that I've been working on for the like end of summer merchandise drop. Gatsby, is it time for us to go to the park? He's like, oh my gosh, look at the car. She's got the car. It's time for me to open some mail. I haven't opened some in a while. Gatsby's here too. He's like, hey guys, I'm right here. It's a dog shirt with a ukulele on the back. I don't know, Gatsby, this looks a little bit too small for him though. He's like, I'm trying to wear it. Thank you, Carrie, for the thought. It's from Zachary from Syracuse, New York. 3D printed corgi. They're like little containers. I think I can put like, um, plants in them. Oh, this is cool. You can stick like pens. Nadine and Anna from Olney, Maryland. For me? Yes. For you. Look. I love it. I like it. Yes. From Matthias. Look, Gatsby's like right there. He's like, this is for me! It really smells like beef. That's kind of weird, but that's cool. <laughs> it's a chew toy. Look at his little paws holding the chew toy. I also have this package over here from Cairo. <laughs> Look at that. 
Oh look, it's a toy for Gatsby! <laughs> From Autumn and Thea from Canada. It's another donut toy for cat's <laughs> Girl! Judy from San Jose, California. It's a dad hat that says Corgi Dad. Corgi Bucket Hat. Ooh. <laughs> Hans from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Thanks for the great content from Emma. Oh my gosh, look at this. Gatsby's gonna love it. Hi Gatsby, can I be your friend? I'm Ducky! No! Oh! Back to chewing. You guys send us so much nice things. So thoughtful. Thank you so much, you guys. Gatsby's enjoying his dinner. Speaking of dinner, I am going, I'm really excited, to um, Korean barbecue. It's a pretty like trendy place in the Bay Area. We made it to 10 butchers here. There's Jossie and Matt. Ta-da! <laughs> we got 10 butchers because I guess there's 10 different cuts of meat. Uh, yeah! Yes! I'm excited. Pretty good. Get all the yes, stuff we're getting here. So we get the salt. Ooh! At Korean places, you get to like get all these side things for free. You can get it replenished for free. I have no idea what a lot of this is. Brisket and the flat iron steak there. But she's gonna cook it for us. There go. That looks so good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So then you dip it in the salt. Mm. Look at all that. Oh. Ooh. It's all wagyu. Oh. It's really good. Yeah, it's super good. That's our seafood pancake. Look at that. This has octopus in it. Can you see it? You better be hungry, Matt. Yeah, we are. We're here to eat. So you kind of just select and choose, you know, when you want to hear you can add pieces of garlic, just some multiple sauces. This is pork, by the way. Yeah, this is pork, and then you put it in a, a napa cabbage leaf oh. sandwich. So, so it's similar to each. You have to do it in one bite, right? It's a one bite thing. <laughs> Got it. Just pieces of garlic. Oh, that's like kind of like a soybean paste. Put a little bit of it, yeah. <laughs> okay. A little bit of that. Alright. Got a little wrap. Okay. <laughs> Pretty big bite. <laughs> Here it is. We finished everything. For the most part, he survived. <laughs> it was so good. Ten butchers. Right now, I am going to watch the movie The Jungle Cruise with Sean. I keep calling it The Jungle Book. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Are you ready to watch um, The Jungle Book? Oh, totally. <laughs> oh, grab one for me, too. <laughs> We're going into the Dolby Center. I thought I would just give my um, two cents on the movie since I used to do movie reviews a long time ago. I would say it is really just on the same level as a National Treasure movie. It's kind of just like a mindless, fun adventure movie. And if you take it as that, it's pretty fun. It's not bad at all. And out of four stars, I would give it two and a half. Other than that though, we're getting really tired. It's already like 12.30, so we're gonna head to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out koreanfleek.com for the back to school sale that's just about to end. And we will see you guys in the next video. Good night! Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! Where's my toys? Gatsby, where'd you put the toys? This is my Corgi Gatsby!